Good morning, Barstow. I'm Gracie Coker. And I'm John Butch. Welcome. Roll the intro. So Gracie, can you believe it's almost summer? I can't, it definitely came quick. But first, we have to get through final exams. Any student wishing to leave campus between exams must return the permission slip that Ms. Lipitze emailed by Friday, May 8th. Also, don't forget to sign out and leave upper school when you return. This year has gone by so quickly, but before the school year ends, make sure to update your online service folder. Speaking of volunteering, here's a piece by Wit about the Leo Club. So our main goals as the LEO Club is basically to help with community service projects, but instead of focusing on one project, we decide to have a bigger outreach for several different communities. So we've worked from different things such as going to a veteran's home, to um, the orphanage at the Niles home. So it's not just one place that we work at, it's a whole experience of different community service experiences. LEO stands for Leadership Experience Opportunity. So we try to get students at Barstow more exposure to different types of volunteering, especially out in the community. Um, but we also do some stuff here. We work in a variety of ways. I mean, here at Barstow, we work mainly to raise money for the organizations we go out and serve. Um, so, for instance, our next volunteering will be with the Kansas City Vision Walk, and we're currently working on raising money for them. So, as I said before, there are different things that we've done for different volunteering opportunities. One example is when we went to the Niles Home Orphanage. There we planned a party for all the little kids, and we had pinatas, and we had food set out, and so it's basically setting it up for everything, and setting up a great event for other people. Another thing that we've done is gone to a veteran hospital and there we passed out candy and helped say hello to all the old people who were there and did service for our country. Um, join Leo, that's a good way. But if you can't join Leo, don't have the time, then I would say go find it. Like find what you want to do first and then go look for that because that'll help you and you'll enjoy it more. If you're interested in community service, by far the easiest thing to do is get connected with our school because there are so many different opportunities here. I would join the LEO Club because it um, allows you to have a wide variety of different community service opportunities. It's a great way to immerse yourself with a bunch of people who love to do community service too. So it'd be a great way for you to have fun with friends while doing things you love by doing community service. So I would join the Leo Club. Thanks, Wit. And just in case you're trying to squeeze in a few extra on-campus hours, Ms. Bros needs help with the project this week. See her in the middle school office right away if you're interested. Barstu students worked hard all year with volunteering within the community. In addition to volunteer work, students excelled in academics, the arts, and athletics. That's right. Just last week, Barstow students excelled in the Misha State Music Contest at the University of Missouri. Ben Abbas and Ethan Ellis received a state rating of 1 for exemplary performance in a vocal solo. And Stephanie Krutz and Melissa Rosenthal received a state rating of 2 for an outstanding performance in a vocal solo. Congratulations! Wow, that's awesome. The applause awards were held last night in the auditorium. Students were recognized for their commitment to the fine arts and were awarded letters in theater, music, journalism, and art. 
There was a reception held after the ceremony showcasing the senior art students at which buyers could purchase the artworks. John, have you had a chance to stop by the Senior Art Show? Actually, yeah, I did on Friday, and I think it's awesome how our seniors are able to exemplify their uh, hard work throughout the high school career that they've had. Yeah, definitely. We have some very talented artists. We also have talented athletes. The Sports Awards Ceremony recognizing all varsity athletes is Thursday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Wow, sounds like the upper school has a busy week ahead. Yeah, we certainly do. But middle and lower schools seem to be pretty busy as well. On Thursday, 7th graders visit Union Station and the 1st and 2nd grade music program is at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. On Friday, 3rd graders visit Shoal Creek, kindergarten students visit Union Station, the middle school honors and awards ceremony takes place at 10 a.m. in the auditorium, and the pre-K Mother's Day tea at 2 p.m. Wow, busy day. On a different note, help us welcome our new families by joining us for New Family Day at the Diamond today at 4.30 p.m. on the Joe LeBlanc baseball field. You know, I remember when I was a new student and I attended and it was such a great opportunity to meet new people. Hey, John, did you know it was Teacher Appreciation Week? Actually, yeah, I did. The 2014-2015 school year has been so great, but we couldn't have done it without our teachers. Here's a piece on teacher appreciation. because she's very nice. I like my teacher because she teaches science. She does a lot for us. I love my teacher because she's nice and when I have trouble figuring out something, she helps me with it. She makes things her own way and she doesn't just do things the ordinary way. She makes funny voices when we're reading books. She helps us learn a lot. thank all my teachers for helping me to become a better student. For devoting so much of their personal time to their job. I love how Barso teachers are so passionate about their jobs. Okay, make sure it's a line that starts at the whole left hand side. Next page, automatically. I love my teachers mainly because they aren't quick to aggression or punishment and they're always so in very encouraging and caring. I appreciate Barso's teachers because they um, really get to know you and they know your situation so it allows you to really um, relate to them and figure out how you can approach their class because they know your point of view. They give really good advice and they really let you get to know them and I'm going to miss that in college. I love my teachers because they not only encourage me to be creative but they really help my imagination grow and I know that we're all born with Usually we know that we're born with a certain amount of creativity, but our teachers really change that and they encourage us to be who we are and not, not change anything. We love our teachers! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Thank you! It's so important to appreciate all of your teachers. So when you have time this week, stop by your teacher's rooms and thank them for all they do. Before we go, we would like to wish the seniors a great last week of school. Absolutely. That's all we have for today. I'm John and... <laughs> Breaking news. Congratulations to the golf for being crowned district champions. John, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it was actually a great day on the course. Uh, we took first, third, and, uh, first second, and third. Yeah. Uh, Alec won the tournament uh, with a 75, and then uh, following that, we had uh, both of our other guys. We had all of our guys did fantastic. We shot 77 and 78. Trip shot 77. Paul came in third with a 78, and it was just a great day. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Also, congratulations to Jeff Hollis for winning high jump with an amazing jump of 6'6. Well, that's all we have for today. Once again, I'm Gracie Maristow. And I'm John. Have Take a great care. day. <laughs>